Hey everybody, it's The Walker. So what are we doing today? Well, today we're in the woods and we're gonna talk a little bit about ultralight fry pans. And a new one I picked up on eBay from Tom Shoe. We're also gonna see if it can hold up to the most important test of all, frying the sacred bacon. So this is the package I got. This looks like the exact same uh, stuff sack I got for the uh, Tom Shoe cooking pot. The one with the bale. So this looks like identical, identical stuff sack. Oh, 20% off when I joined them. Well, we'll pull this aside. I believe this is some kind of silicate, silicon, whatever, cleaning pad. Yes, I'm gonna be putting this to the test. Pretty light. I'm gonna put up the weights for everything. Don't want to litter. Box. There. Looks like a little fry pan for me. These would wrap around like this. There we are. Why did I buy this one? Especially since I have this one and I have this one. This is an awesome fry pan. I did a review on it. Fantastic. And it's been well used. Packs down good. This is the Keith one. It's a little big though, for what I'm trying to um, backpack and reduce pack bulk. So it's a little bit, I find it a little bit too large, but good for many applications. It's also got a little bit of weight just because of its size. That's to be expected. This one is awesome. Did a review on it as well. This I believe is um, Tokes. I use the heck out of this one. Very lightweight. Handle comes right off, or you can fold it back like that. Has little um, things, probably some type of high temperature plastic to reduce getting burned, but I'm burning the heck out of that is what it is, because I use this stuff over fire all the time. The problem, it's very shallow, which is okay for a pure fry pan, but I kind of wanted a combo deal, which I can also use as a bowl, because I'll use a fry pan very often as a bowl. And when you're mixing stuff, <laughs> things fly out, hits the ground, in some places, the five second rule doesn't really apply. This is even, it's even a slight bit, um, a slight bit maybe taller than this larger one. So that was my intent. Dual, a dual purpose cooking fry pan bowl. We'll be cooking a uh, sacred bacon with the bio like camp stove and it does indeed fit perfectly on top of the bio light. The stove is properly burning. I'll keep it on low power. That's more than enough to cook with. Across the uh, little handles. There we go. Sacred bacon is now on. This is the first actual fry. That's better.
actually could be a little bit bigger. It sits on it just fine. Maybe a little, yeah, it's good, it's good. Why don't you grab the handle back there? It seems to stay relatively cool. You go too far up here, the flames hit it. I don't think the uh, fold out handle thing is as good as something like that. Because if you grab it wrong, it'll start to collapse like this. But if you pay attention, it's not so bad. I'm pleased with how it's cooking the sacred bacon. I'm very pleased. It's doing an excellent job with that. That's done. We're gonna try pork fried bacon. Actually bacon fried pork? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, just catching that good. Then just as it's done, we take some of this, actually all this delicious bacon and dump it right in there. Don't want this to be cold. Check and see if it's cooked through. Not yet. Not yet. Actually, you know what we should do? I'll cut it up.
There we go. Something I would never do with a steak. But, um, I want to make sure this is well done. This is done. All right. The sacred bacon. Outstanding. Cook through. I might have to include the pork chop more. I mean, this way I can like double up on the pork. <laughs> I'm gonna finish this. We're gonna test out that little um, cleaning silicone, whatever that thing is. Don't wanna burn my fingers of boiling water. It's like one of those palm olive commercials. I just wish I had the palm olive. That's not bad. I mean, it's not, um, it's not like I was using river sand. And that concludes the review of the Tom Shoe fry pan slash cook pot slash bowl and also the little um free blue wipey thing seem to do okay for for the first outing so we're gonna give it a tentative thumbs up we'll see if it earns its place in my gear and in within my preps if you like what you've seen give me a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and as always thanks for watching and have a great day